Hi everyone, welcome to Haru Apps podcast number eight. This is the first topic, uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about LiberKey. LiberKey is a portable suite um, that you install on your USB drive, so you can run standalone programs on this key without having to install the programs on the computer you're using. So let's say you install a bunch of programs on it, and um, you take your USB key, and then you go to work, you just plug in your key, and you will have access to all these programs without having to install anything on the computer at work, which is good uh, because you don't leave any trace. You don't waste time installing programs over and over again. And which is really good is uh, you can install programs such as Firefox, and um, it will keep all your settings, all your bookmarks and passwords, and all the cache while you're browsing will remain on your stick. Nothing will be left on the computer. So this is a good solution. Uh, you find the program on my website. Uh, go to heruapps.com and uh, in the shirt, in the search uh, title box, uh, you're just going to type in uh, LiberKey and then it will bring you to the post and there's a download link button on my website. And uh, that will bring you to the main website, which is LiberKey.com. And um, the, the installation is really small. It's 4 megabyte. Once you install it on your key, it's going to be taking 17 meg of space. So I've already installed this to save some time. So the only thing you got to keep in mind is when you install the, the program, just point to your uh, USB key uh, as the install path. Instead of, uh, by default, it uses the C drive. So you don't want a C drive. Just pick your USB key. And uh, once it's installed and you reinsert your key, that little box you see at the bottom right here, uh, you will see this. Now, a um, couple of, uh, just quickly, um, you got two icons on the top. There's a little heart and a, a clock. The clock is for recent documents or programs, and the heart is the mostly, uh, or sorry, the most used programs. And uh, at the most important tool is the Liberty Key Tools icon at the bottom. Um, the first thing you got to do is click on it and you're going to go to enable file associations. Otherwise, you will not be able to install programs on this. So just click on it. Mine's already enabled, um, but click on it and it will say you it was successful and then you can install applications because by default, uh, there's no applications installed. To get applications, uh, you click on that Liber key tool and uh, you're going to go to Manage Applications and click on Browse the Application Catalog. And you need to be online for this, so you need access to the Internet. It will go to the LiberKey website and it will give you a menu of uh, categories of programs that you can install. So you got audio, you got CD, DVD, education, file management, games, graphics, Internet, network, office, security, system, utilities, and video. And within those categories, there are a lot of subcategories. So let's say I want to install, um, I'm just going to install a graphic photo um, editor and called, uh, I'm going to put GIMP. And uh, so you click on the program on the left side. The right pane will be a description of what the program is. And at the bottom, you're going to have Install GIMP on my LiberKey. So you're just going to click this, and it says this link need to be open with an application send to, and you're going to see a box that says LiberKey Creator. So you're going to click on OK. And as it's doing this, um, you're going to have a new little window created, and it's going to be the program GIMP. And it's uh, at the bottom, it's going to say the uh, space that's required, right? In this case, it's 107 megabyte. And you just click install the application. And as you do this, um, I guess you got to wait until it's fully installed. And uh, it will appear in your, in your window here. Um, we'll just break and I'll uh, come back when it's done. 
Okay, we're back. And uh, it took about five minutes to install. Uh, GIMP is quite a big program. It was like 107 megabytes, so it took a while. Uh, but once it's installed, uh, you will see in your key um, that under graphics and photo, uh, there's a new um, tab, and then you click, and then GIMP is there. And you click on GIMP, and it will give you, um, again, a little description of what the program's about. And you can click on launch to launch the program. And now it's running right from my USB drive. It's not running from my system. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's no trace of this program being run on my system at all. Um, so you can edit files. You can do whatever you would do with GIMP, uh, which actually, by the way, if you haven't seen my post about GIMP, um, I uh, welcome you to uh, just research uh, this uh, topic. It's a really, really powerful program. It's a little bit like Photoshop, but it is a freeware. Uh, so this is uh, quite nice. Um, obviously, this is going to take a little bit more time than the usual because it's running off a USB drive. Uh, so you got to keep that in mind. And um, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm just going to let this go, and I'm going to close it. And I'm going to show you another way of installing programs on this LibreKey. This will only be a few seconds, and um, it will be uh, ready to use the program. All right, there you go. So you've got the uh, full blown version of GIMP, um, but you're using it from USB drive. So this is very nice. And uh, so uh, and I <coughs> you can maybe you say, okay, well, that's going to take a while to install all these, these programs. And yeah, it is true. If you only need a few of them, that's, that's the uh, manual way of doing it. But uh, you can do uh, multiple file install installation uh, from uh, the LibreKey tool menu here, you click on it and you click on manage application. But what you're going to click on is install an application suite. So you click on this and then uh, you will have a screen popping up that will say uh, download the list of available suites. That will only take a few moments. And uh, there we go. Uh, we have the list of the uh, the, uh, this is the basic one, um, but I'm going to put the standard suite. So these have a lot of programs. Um, Firefox is in there, and you've got uh, Faststone Image Viewer. There's uh, uh, actually too many to name. You're going to have to look at them. There's a lot of them. And what you would do is you would click on Install All Application that you've selected. So the one you do not want, you uncheck and then you click the install and it will take a long time but it will in download and install all these files to your USB drive and uh, they will be standalone again you will not need to install these on your computer so this is a really neat tool and uh, thank you for watching stay tuned the next topic is going to be duplicate finder <laughs>